Attention, please. This upload is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles G Petrol. G Petrol. Definitely a must see. Follow us. Here. It's freezing. Well, I don't know. I just thought if I was going to be single again, then I should get used to doing things I did when I was single. Well, we only sat here drinking in the rain because we couldn't get into the pubs. Well, I can't remember what else I did before I went out with Johnny. Well, we read the problem pages in the magazines and the horoscopes. <laughs> and we lusted after Brian Harvey for East 17. God, we were sick. Well, read me my horoscope then. Crabby Crabster. Oh, my God! What? It says you will have conflict with a partner over a person from your past. Really? And it says you must act now to avoid further conflict. Honest to God? Well, what does yours say? Taurus. You'll be forced to comfort a friend in need this week. Do not let her man troubles interfere with your heavy work schedule. God, this is spooky. You don't have a heavy work schedule. I have a 500-word essay due in a year. <laughs> that horoscope stuff's just a load of bollocks anyway, Louise. I don't think so. Well, it even says you need to take a good look in the mirror. Do I? Yeah, you have bacon bits in your teeth. <laughs> I'm going to prove it to you, Janet. Horoscopes are pure hard facts. I'm going to take a look at yours and Johnny's star signs and figure out what went wrong. Well, <laughs> other than you slagging it up behind his back. <laughs> <laughs> Mum! Mum! Donna, you live in a palace. <laughs> oh, you've got a zester. I've always wanted one of them. I'll just find my address book and then we can go. Donna! Oh, you've brought me a present. <laughs> what? He's a bit on the skinny side, but I bet he's got stamina. Mm. <laughs> That's Johnny, it's Janet's boyfriend. You're taken? Oh, well, never mind. Tell me, Johnny, have you ever experienced an older woman? What the hell are you? <laughs> Luella Henshaw, Donna's mother, and don't bother saying it, cos I know we look like sisters. Tell me, Johnny, have you ever experienced sisters? Donna? Is she all right? She has got a crazed look in her eye. Donna, I think I like Gary better. Listen, I just came by for my dress book. It's upstairs on the landing by the phone. Right. This guy's been back since. No, but uh, you'll know not to mess with the Henshaw women again. You didn't go too far, did you? No. Of course, the Prozac. A couple of years intensive counselling. Be right as rain. <laughs> Sit down, Johnny. <laughs> I, I think I might stay here, or, or, or go outside. <laughs> Sit, Johnny! <clears throat> I, I like your, um... I like your lino. <laughs> it's cool. Thank you. Mrs Henshaw? Yes, love. Could you take your hand off my crotch? <laughs> I didn't realise I was doing that. <laughs> I, I've never felt fear quite like this before, so I'm going <laughs> slowly away. Oh, fine. You're scared of women. Listen, from what I felt, you couldn't satisfy a mouse's ear anyway. <laughs> right, I've got it. Thanks, Mum. Oh, you must come again, love. We have had such a lovely chat. You must bring more nice young men to see me. Mum, you're so daft. She's just teasing Johnny. She is a deviant. Thank you! <laughs> is he a big lad? Well, it depends on what you mean by big. Like, big compared to you, or big compared to a kidney bean? Uh, a kidney bean. Oh, he's massive. OK, me. Oh, he's massive. <laughs> well, look, could I take him? Well, just don't go in there all cocky. Be polite. And if he gives you the look, just run for your life. Oh, the look? Well, I've got a look. Okay. See. I won't do that. You just look a bit backward. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm just going to barge in there and demand to know where my girlfriend is. Okay. Go on. Go. 
what? I'm not going in. I'm frightened. What you going? Hello? Is there anybody there? What? Hi, mate. Did you just ring my doorbell? Um, y yes. Yes, I, I did. And, um... And then the, uh, the wind blew me back <laughs> here behind this wall. Uh, what can I help you with? Nothing, I'd say. Bye. Ow! <laughs> you know what, mate? Yeah. A scabby old mongrel just bit me. <laughs> Hold on a minute. You're Johnny, aren't you? Yes, actually. Yes, I am. Janet's boyfriend. Give her back, give her back, give her back. <laughs> you know, don't you? What? What do I know? That you're a big girlfriend-stealing twat who has to snog other people's girlfriends because he's a big twat. <laughs> uh, yeah, that. Yeah, I do know, actually. I don't know, you've got my woman in your castle of lust there and you've been feeding her phallic strawberries and such like. <laughs> you've got a lot to worry about if you think strawberries are phallic, mate. Yeah. <laughs> give her back, give her back, give her back. She's not here. I wish she was, and I wish she were dead. But neither's true now, is it? Come and have a look for yourself. Oh, no. I'm not falling for that one. You just want me in there so you can kick me and beat me and bind my feet. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter, Johnny. You see, now there's no way I'm coming in there. <laughs> Who's that? Hello. And what are you doing behind me wall? I drop my toffee crisp wrap. <laughs> I collect them. <laughs> Johnny! He's not here. How do you know? Because it says in my horoscope book that Cancerian men are elusive. OK, so where is he then? Well, let's see. Girlfriend snogs other man. Girlfriend runs off with other man. Girlfriend tactlessly spends the afternoon with mate getting pissed. Hmm. Cancerian men are very sensitive. I'd say he's topped himself. <laughs> Louise? No, he'd never do that. He hates the sight of blood. Uh, just like his star sign. You don't have to slit your wrist to kill yourself. He could have jumped off the bridge. No, he hates it when people do that. All the traffic they cause, he's always shouting for him to jump. <laughs> he could have taken pills. Well, we don't have any pills. Well, we have got some evening primrose capsules, but they won't kill you, would they? No, but he'd grow a great pair of breasts. <laughs> Suppose he could have hung himself. Oh, God, why did I just say that? Uh, have you got that image in your head now? Johnny swinging solitary in a barn. <laughs> His bloated tongue lolling, big boggly eyeballs rolled up inside his head. Louise! <laughs> you'll never be able to get rid of that image now, even if he is found alive. That's how you'll picture him. <laughs> Until one day the image drives you insane, and you recreate it for real in an old, disused warehouse. <laughs> oh, my God, I feel sick. God, what if something has happened to him, Louise? Oh, bollocks, when did I last tell him I loved him? Lou, come on, we've got to find him. He might be looking for you. Oh, do you think? No, he's definitely dead. <laughs> God, I feel so stupid. Johnny was right to be upset with me. I should have sat it out until he calmed down. Donna! Have you seen Donna? No, you've seen Johnny. Ooh, a double suicide. <laughs> Donna's mum seems to think I've pushed her over the edge. Pushed her over the edge of where, Gaz? Did you kill Johnny too? No, you small, scary, overly well-groomed thing. <laughs> Over the edge of insanity. Hey, do you know anything about the Aardvark of Fire incident? No, what's that? Something I never talk about in a family. Oh, what? Like the granddad euthanasia incident in my family? <laughs> <laughs> OK, Louise, you're scaring everyone now. Why don't you just go home? OK. What's your star sign, Gaz? Aries. It's an anagram of rays, you know, as in, like... Raising to the occasion. <laughs> now, guys, you rise to the occasion. I certainly do. And what was Donna's star sign? Don't know. 
Man, I don't know how old Donna is. Christ, man, she could be 30. <laughs> She's a Taurus, Louise, same as you. Taurus and Aries, eh? This could spell... Disaster. <laughs> Something very wrong with that girl. Mm. Oh, God, come on, Gaz, what are we going to do? I'm so scared. My boyfriend's vanished, your girlfriend's vanished. We're all alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. We're all alone. <sighs> alone and horny. <laughs> Guys, I just want to find Johnny and apologise. I'm certainly not horny. Janet, you're forgetting that I know for a fact you haven't done it for three days. And from what Johnny says, that's a long time in your book. What book? The book of sex. <laughs> Guys, you disgust me. I'd rather sleep with a syphilitic goat. Ooh, you're insatiable. Come on, guys, concentrate. I'm really worried. I need to find Johnny and get him to forgive me. Come on, where might they be? Canada. What? I don't know, I'm worried. Well, you weren't when you were trying to shag me a minute ago. Janet, everybody knows men can detach themselves from all emotions if there's a sniff of a quickie. Johnny doesn't. Yes, well, he's got homosexual tendencies. <laughs> Maybe they're in the pub. Oh, good idea, let's go. You just want a pine. Good idea, let's go. <laughs> Come on. Oh.